So you want to create framework templates. I'm glad you are. Templates have completely changed my life and it can for you too. But you may be thinking, what kind of template should I build? I'm going to assume here that you already have some experience designing websites, maybe some client work or a nine to five. And so your first template should be something that you already know and are good at. If you have designed e-commerce websites before, then start with an e-commerce template. If you have experience designing agency websites, then your first template should be an agency site. Your first template will be the gateway into this business model. So you want to start with something that you're already knowledgeable in. Before my first template, I built a lot of portfolio websites. Naturally, as a designer, you're never truly satisfied with your own site. And so from early 2022 to late 2024, I built a multiple versions of my portfolio website. I've also been mentoring and managing for the past three years now. And so I've seen a lot of designers portfolio sites and helped them improve them. So I would say I have a fair bit of knowledge of what a good portfolio website should look like to attract the attention of clients or recruiters for designers to secure client project or land a design role. One of my first framer template was my own personal website back when I was freelancing as a framer developer. I was building that site and sharing my progress on X asking for feedback and it got a lot of attention. A lot of designers generally like the design and the structure of the site. That made me think, this could be a good template for me to sell. And that's exactly what I did. I changed the content a bit, mainly the images of myself, packaged it up and listed it as a framer template. Caleb.design was built in February, 2024, and it still brings in sales to this day. Hands down, it's our best selling template. Back to building your first template. So that's exactly where I would start. Build a template that you already have knowledge in and something you would use yourself. In my mentoring course, I recommend designers who have already done a few client projects to package and list a project they've done before as a framer template. It's a great place to start if you already built a high quality framer website that your client is happy with. If you haven't built any framer websites before, then the other option remains to build them from scratch. Again, to my point earlier, start with the industry that you're knowledgeable in. Just make sure to not super niche down, otherwise you'll be only selling to a subset of an audience. That's it for this video. In the next one, we'll be diving into the platform where I show you the best practices of designing a framework template. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.